This is Peter from Easy Esports Betting. And uh, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. We already know that placing an image with keywords in your alt tags is a great way to add SEO to your posts. This is one of the reasons for having different topic relating headers for your WordPress pages. I showed you how to do that in a previous video. Uh, you can see the link below to check that out. Now wouldn't it be great to have a specific topic related header for your categories as well? Well you can do that with FlexSqueeze too and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. First, from within your WordPress dashboard, you go to your categories, you find that within uh, post, so post, categories. Then once that's loaded, you find the category that you wish to edit and for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to use my sports jokes, so click on edit. And then up above where your URL is, you look for where it says ID, and here it is, ID is 29, so I have to remember 29. Okay, then once you do that, we go into Flex Squeeze Options, go to Appearance, Flex Squeeze Theme Options, and then once you're there, you have to go to uh, your CSS, which is custom CSS settings, so click on that. You add a code snippet, which I will show you in a post. Once I've done this video, I'll be writing a post with all step-by-step -step instructions on how this is done, including all the code snippets. So put the code snippet, and there's my uh, header there, category 29. And you also notice I've got an URL to my image, which I created previously, which will be my new header. We'll click on Save Changes, and then we're going to delete the cache, otherwise you'll still show the old header. So I'll click on my Zen Cache plugin, and I will clear the cache. Once that's cleared, we'll reload our category page, or we'll go to the category page, and see if that new header has taken. Then we're going to go down to the sports category link. I'm going to click on sports jokes, which is the category that I edited the header for. And there it is, that's our new header. But unfortunately, notice that it's got my uh, site heading there, as well as the description for the site. It will look so much better if we can get rid of that. And we can with using Flex Squeeze 2. So once again, we'll go into appearance. And there you go, Flex Squeeze Options. And I'm going to have another bit of code snippet, which also has that uh, ID number in there. I will click Save, and that's going to tell it not to display the title or logo. Go back to Zen the Case. And we'll delete the cache as well. Okay, so I'll clear the cache. All right, now we'll reload that page or we'll category once again. Just reload it and see if the title and that is gone. running a bit slow today. There it goes. Head is on, title and logo is gone, and does that not look so much better? Okay, now, that header will appear, doesn't matter what category page you click on. So if I click on, say, category page number three, you'll notice that the header will still be there, but it will not show on individual posts. For example, if I click on the sports betting joke, which is a pretty good joke, you should go there and read them. It'll make your day. You notice it will revert to my original header. So the category header attaches itself to the actual categories and not to the actual posts within the categories. But anyway, that's how easy it is. I hope you enjoyed that and that you'll be able to uh, do that to your own FlexSqueeze to themed blog. Have a great day, guys. Catch you next time.